Hi, this is Matt from tracymatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com. Here we have the LG View T Smart, the GC900, uh, which is a worthy successor to the original LG View T that we saw uh, towards the end of 2007, in actual fact. So let's have a look inside. Uh, we'll do an unbox and we'll take a look at the handset. First of all, we have obviously the handset itself right on top, and we'll look at that in a bit more detail in just a few moments. Also in the box, we have a set of uh, headphones, or in actual fact a wired uh, headset. Uh, this is actually in two parts. First of all we have uh, an inline microphone with push button. No volume control though. But this little inline microphone with push button does have a standard 3.5mm jack on one end so that we can plug in any headphones. And on the other end we have a proprietary LG style connector which is uh, similar to other LG handsets. Uh, the other part of this is the uh, are the actual headphones themselves. So do come with um, sort of half decent headphones, again with a standard 3.5mm jack. Um, so obviously you can use these uh, supplied headphones or you can use your own. Um, you probably want to use your own if you want to listen to um, you know, a lot of music, but those, those are okay for casual use. Uh, then we actually have a USB sync charge cable. Again, with a standard USB on one end and a proprietary style LG connector on the other. The battery also in the box, and the battery is, let's just open her up, and the battery is a 1000 mAh battery. It's quite small physically, uh, 1000 mAh is not too bad. We'll install it in just a second. Then there's the charger, which is a standard 3 pin wall charger, again with that proprietary style connector and uh, last of all in the box we have um, a very lightweight uh, user guide uh, I guess it's Darcy guide uh, and the LG installer there's also this 8cm CD-ROM uh, which I've obviously mentioned before 8cm CD-ROMs don't work in all uh, CD players obviously especially those that are slot loading um, so it's worth bearing in mind um, but let's say the lightweight fairly lightweight manual and I assume that there's an uh, electronic version of the manual on the CD-ROM but that's basically all you get in the box this clearly as you can see is an unlocked version of the handset um, so you can use it with any, any SIM card you see fit so let's just uh, take a look at the handset itself let's just peel off the protective film there so on the front we have a 3 inch diagonal display which is actually an 800 by 400 pixel display uh, in which is touchscreen. We have a forward facing VJ camera for video conferencing and then we have just one button at the bottom here. So on the top we have a power button looking down the right hand side we have a cover over the sync charge and audio connector which is, as I obviously said a couple of times already is a proprietary style connector. We have an up down rocker which is a volume control then we have a dedicated camera button on the bottom of the handset, nothing really to speak of apart from uh, a little hole which is actually the microphone. And then on the left hand side, we have a cover over a micro SD card socket and we support up to 16 gig micro SDHC. And there's another soft key on the other side which is uh, programmable and also I think that acts as a menu button. There is a space for a lanyard and you can connect a lanyard or a phone charm on the top. On the back we have an 8.1 megapixel camera which is autofocus also has a built-in LED uh, flash and if we just remove the back cover you can see the SIM card goes in here and obviously the battery just pops in place like so the back cover goes on again like so then if we just power up and then while we're just powering up let's just run down the rest of the uh, specification as I say touch sensitive display it also has haptic feedback it's quad band and also HSDPA up to 7.2 megabits per second. 8.1 megapixel autofocus camera with digital zoom and an LED flash. Uh, it does support geotagging thanks to the built-in GPS chipset. With the built-in camera we can also record high resolution VGA video, DVD quality or 128 frames per second slow motion mode. And we record in MP4. It also supports video streaming. In terms of connectivity, we have Bluetooth 2 and Wi-Fi supporting 802.11 BNG. Physical dimensions then, 108mm from top to bottom, 56mm wide and only 12.4mm thick. 
I have to say, it does seem quite slim and actually feels quite lightweight in hand. It's only 102 grams. Battery will give us four hours of talk time and up to 350 hours of standby time. As I say, built in a GPS and Google Maps. There's also an accelerometer, PDF document viewer, and a TV out with an extra cable that you will have to buy. And if we just have a look at the display, and we unlock. Unfortunately, we're obviously in a particularly bright place at the moment, but uh, we'll have a quick look at what's on the screen. So we have our recent history, obviously not going to have anything on here at the moment. Um, we can write a message, uh, obviously telling me I don't have a SIM card installed. We can have a look at the music, and I say every time I touch the display, there is a small sort of haptic feedback or a vibrate from inside. And it is quite a touch sensitive screen. Have a look at our alarm. And then we have our web browser, uh, which we can go to different uh, enter addresses or go to home, bookmarks, RSS reader, and so on. We'll talk about that in a bit more detail when it actually comes to the review because obviously I don't have this connected up just at the moment. Do so have our gallery? So obviously we can look at the photographs um, that we've taken and obviously photographs that are stored on there. And then at the bottom we have a main menu. So we can go into our contacts, recent history of messaging on the communication at the top and that does scroll across. And we can go to Google and our multimedia again. We've got games and apps, FM radio, movie maker. And then our utilities, all of these all scroll across. And then we have connectivity, Wi-Fi, call settings, phone settings, Bluetooth and so on. Um, as I say, very touch sensitive display. Um, there is obviously no stylus because there is no touch sensitive um, there is no text entry with a uh, uh, stylus or anything like that, no handwriting recognition, any of those sorts of things. It was all just done through your fingers. And as you can see there, if you rotate the handset sideways, you get the menus uh, and the actual uh, icons. The display a little smaller, but they actually do fit the full display there. And then if we rotate back, they all come into line. We go to the home screen and we can swipe around the home screen. In a, in a cube style, again, meant, we've seen this on other devices and you know, it's kind of similar to the original touch flow uh, on the HTC devices. So it's obviously a very quick tour of the old GVD Smart or the GC900. Uh, we're going to go away and do a full review for you now and that review will be online on tracymat.co.uk very soon. And if you want to have a look at any of our other unboxing videos, please check out unboxings.com.